I've been investing in property for more than 10 years, and I've way more than doubled my money. But it's not because property prices have doubled. They haven't. Property prices double every 10 years is something you hear all the time, but it's a myth. Yet you can still easily more than double the value of your investment. So first I'll debunk the doubling in 10 years myth, then show why it doesn't matter at all. If property prices really did double every 10 years, that would be a compound growth rate of 7% per year, which clearly doesn't make sense over the long term because they'll end up running ever further ahead of incomes. You can see on this chart I put together that prices don't double over 10 years for most of the time. The chart shows the percentage growth for each year relative to 10 years earlier. So the first point, 1980, is showing the growth since 1970. Anywhere above the red line shows prices doubling over 10 years, anything below is not doubling. You can see prices spend a lot of time not doubling, but it also shows something maybe more surprising. Prices have been a long way off doubling from 2010 onwards, when the perception is that prices have been growing fast. Yet go back to 1980 to 1990 and prices were way more than doubling over a decade. Why? Because there was so much inflation in the 1970s, which was lifting the price of everything, not just property. Indeed, when you adjust for inflation, like this nationwide chart does, you can see that property prices are the same today as they were in 2013. In other words, they haven't outgrown inflation at all over the last decade. But you could still have doubled your money over the last 10 years if you'd used a mortgage. Say you'd bought the average UK home in 2013, paying £163,000, just under £41,000 of your own money, and a mortgage of £122,250. By the start of 2023, that average UK property was worth £258,115, which is a 58% increase. After selling the property for that price and repaying the mortgage of £122,000, you'd end up having turned your £41,000 into £135,865. Of course, we need to factor in inflation. If your initial £41,000 had just grown in line with inflation, it would still be worth £60,000. But still, because this average property investment made you £135,000, you more than doubled your money even after adjusting for inflation. And even though the property price itself only went up by 58% before adjusting for inflation, and didn't go up at all after adjusting for inflation. This doesn't factor in stamp duty, tax on your gain, or any of that stuff, but it also doesn't factor in any rental income you've received, doesn't assume you've done anything to add value to the property, doesn't assume you bought in better than average area, and so on. This isn't supposed to be an exact simulation. It's just making a few general points. Do property prices double every 10 years? No, most of the time they don't. But can you double your money in 10 years? Yes, easily. Even over a decade, that's entirely unremarkable for property, when property prices were nowhere near doubling and didn't even outpace inflation. Of course, bringing mortgages into the equation does introduce extra risk. And this 10 year period didn't include a property crash. Is a crash coming in the next 10 years or even sooner? Well, watch this video next, where I show that it might not be coming soon or even just getting started. But actually, it could be well underway and most people have missed it, which has major implications for how you should be thinking about investing.